Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Daily Call today, Friday, the 4th of August. All right, taking a look at uh, data coming in overnight, we had from the UK their interest rates decision, and that decision was pretty much unanimous with six members voting to increase by 0.25, whilst two voting to increase by 0.5%, and one member to keep them uh, unchanged. So the result was an increase of 0.25%, with the rates now at 5.25%. Percent. Um, of course, uh, this would give a strength to uh, the British currency, the, the pound, and that's exactly what's happened. The only other data to uh, happen was from the US, where we saw the unemployment claims number come in at 277,000 jobs, slightly more than the uh, forecasted, and the ISM uh, services PMI number at 52.7, slightly under the forecast. That was all from yesterday, so let's just just jump straight into our chart of the day. The chart that I'm looking at this morning is it's the US Swiss on a daily time scale. Now I'm showing you a very far view uh, or very um, I'm showing you a lot of chart here because I really want to highlight the trend. <clears throat> okay we are definitely in a downtrend on this particular chart and we can see our lows are becoming lower the highs are lower as well. So essentially we have got that step down motion. The market has now pulled back into this region and we would like to see that the market now shows us a sign of reversal, meaning it's pulling up, shows me the reversal, so then that we can take a trade moving down in continuation of that trend. Let me zoom in now so we can see it a little bit closer. What I notice here on this pullback is that we have already produced a reversal pattern of candles here. So that one is set and ready to go. That's a confirmed reversal there. It's happened at a good spot. So what I naturally can do now is I can place a pending order at the break of the inside candle down the bottom, roughly where I've drawn it in there. Um, and then it, this little doji looking candle right now, that's this morning's candle. And if uh, that candle should now break downwards, that means we are uh, in a sell position and we are short on this particular trade. However, please note, if this little candle, which is still in formation, uh, should break the high and not the low, so in other words, it comes up and pushes this direction, then what we need to do is come back and cancel out the order as it would not be a valid trade. And uh, no harm done, it just means basically we don't get a, a trigger into the market. So there you ha have it, the US Swiss on a daily time scale is our chart of the day this morning. Okay, what is on the agenda for the session which is about to kick off? Big one tonight, it's the first Friday of the month, so what that means is it's non-farm payrolls data uh, from the US due out. For those of you who are newer traders have never seen this, what I would uh, advise is to log in, have a look, and just see how the market starts to move, particularly as the clock turns smack on 10.30 p.m. tonight. So 10.30, um, we have the average hourly earnings from the US, the non-farm payroll job numbers and the unemployment rate at the same time from Canada we also have the same data which is essentially the unemployment uh, rate and the employment change figures for Canada so look out for that it is considered the most volatile data of the calendar month so if you're new um, just log in have a bit of a look um, for example have a look at the euro USD or a, a US CAD pair and just watch the volatility as we get close to ticking over to that 1030 all right, that pretty much wraps up for today, guys. I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter at ChatFX um, for trade setups and breaking news. And look, take care and look out for those trades, and I'll speak to you on Monday for the Daily Call. Bye for now.